everyone. I'd like to show you the highlights of this great portable CD player. I purchased it because I have a 2016 Mazda 3 car that did not come with a CD player. Very disappointing. I'm old fashioned, as you can tell by the date on this CD, um, that I am um, uh, into CDs still. So there is a great thing to be said for CDs. I know I can put them on a MP3 player or a thumb drive, but I like the CDs. So that's the purchase. And this is so easy to use. I'm charging it right now with this uh, USB port that is right on the back of the unit there. So in order to turn it over here, in order to put the CD in, you slide this toggle switch over and the back flips open and you set the CD in there on that little turnstile thing. Make sure it snaps in there or it won't work right. Um, your on and off switch toggles right there. So turn that on and you will see the, um, the in the window here, you'll see your, your track come on. So you wanna just turn on right here to view all your functions and it should start to play. And when it does, there's your volume. So you're up and it shows you the numbers and down, okay? All right, so these two here are your forward and back buttons so you can move to your next track quickly. You have a plus and minus button. These are more for if you're using it for a CD and listening to a teaching or some kind of a, a CD that has um, actually tracks on it. Let me pause this. It has actual tracks on it because this can fast forward 10 tracks at a time or, my, or you know rewind 10 tracks. This is your program button, which would also be helpful if, you're, if your CD has tracks on it, then you'd want to push the program button and you can get to that. Here's your repeat button. If you just love the song you just listened to, you want to repeat it, go ahead and push that. Um, this is your anti-shock right here. So like in the car is really handy. You want to make sure that's turned on so it doesn't skip. Um, we used to use these when we were kids and we would run with these on our hip, believe it or not. And uh, we used to always like the anti-shock um, concept there. So this again is your play button and your pause button. I have it paused at the moment. Uh, the other thing that this was great for, which I like, and I was hoping it was going to work in my car, is the Bluetooth function. And the way you do that is you hold down the Bluetooth function button, and I don't know if you can see it, but in the window there, there's a little flashing icon, a Bluetooth icon. And that means, and then once you have that on there, then you want to go ahead and push the fun function button again. There's your Bluetooth, and that um, there's your auxiliary, which is what I'm using in my car because I couldn't get the Bluetooth to work. So I'm using the auxiliary, auxiliary cord, which plugs in here. That's the same place you plug in your, your audio out, by the way, um, if you wanna listen to it with headsets. It actually came with a wired headset, which I know most of you probably wouldn't want to. But again, Bluetooth features, you just wanna make sure you go to Bluetooth on the function button and pair, pair your device. That's it great it, um, again using the auxiliary auxiliary I can't say that word excuse me cord in my car with the cable plugged it plugged in it plays perfectly through my Bose speakers in my Mazda so the sound is awesome I love it it's really user-friendly I hope the review was helpful thanks so much for watching and take good care